What's up, y'all? How you doing? Here we go. A uh, single shot for you. Um, uh, this is the Star Wars Black Series Boba Fett from Book of Boba Fett. And um, I got this figure last week. Decided to crack him open. Had a little bit of... Took a little break of work. Decided to crack him open. See what we got here. And um, I gotta tell y'all, um, I put this on Instagram earlier and Facebook earlier. There is one word to describe this figure for me. One word. One and that's disappointing, y'all. Um, honestly, he'd be disappointing for me if he was a $25 figure. Now, he's a $31.49 figure. And um, there's there's issues here, y'all. So <laughs> let's let's get into it. Let's take a look at it. First of all, let's go ahead and slide the packaging over here. The packaging, I mean, honestly, one of the coolest parts. Look at this artwork, if I can get it down. There we go. Let's kind of adjust the camera up a little bit. So, this is the back of the box. Looks really cool. I love that art. Kind of just gives you a little bio of Boba Fett. We don't really need to watch, read over that. And then there's kind of what the side of the packaging looks like. Let's move Boba over. Side of the packaging looks really good, y'all. I mean, it's kind of your standard box. Nice olive green color. And yeah, but um, box looks really good, y'all. I have no complaints with the box, but the box is trash. So, let's get to this figure. Let's go ahead and adjust down a little bit here. And like I said, um, disappointing. Disappointing, to say the least. Um, let's go ahead and get him disassembled here. And we'll take a look at some of the accessories and some of the issues. I'm actually not going to take this gun out of his hand because that was a pain in the butt to get into that hand. So we're gonna leave him with this gun. Let's take a look at some of these other accessories. Though. We'll start with the pistol. This is actually the same pistol that was um, with the first Tython version. So, I mean, it's it's pretty basic. It's got a good gun metal look to it, some brown there on the handle, and, and it looks pretty good. It's not terrible. It's, uh, it's decent, y'all. I mean, it's not the best thing in the world, but it's decent. Decent pistol, so there you go. Helmet. Helmet looks pretty solid. Um, don't have too many complaints, honestly, with the helmet. I think the paint's done up pretty good. Um, you know, he doesn't have a lot of damage or weathering when he is in Book of Boba Fett yet, so I don't expect there to be a lot of that kind of stuff. The rangefinder does move up and down. Can't move it down, can't move it up. This piece of plastic here is fragile, so be careful with that when you are moving this up and down but yeah no real issues with the helmet i think it looks really good good paint so no real complaints there the jet pack this is where we start getting a little crazy y'all i don't think it's really the jet pack but it's the the way it's designed to fit into his back um again the colors look pretty good not a lot of scuffing you got these yellow down here by the by the boosters and stuff um, one cool thing about this the missile does come out so there's the missile right there Pretty solid. I mean, if you've got the right kind of effect piece, you could probably have this shooting out. So that's pretty cool right there. Again, not anything really new what we've seen before. Um, the peg, I think it's long enough to go into the back, but since it goes into the back kind of weird, it, it it has a tendency to fall off. So we'll, we'll go over that in just a second. Um, his other gun, I, like I said, I'm going to leave that in his hand because it was a pain in the ass to get in there. I mean, it's an updated version of his regular gun that was in Return of the Jedi and, and uh, Empire Strikes Back. So, I mean, it's all right. It's not bad. I, I absolutely hate the design because you have to slide his thumb in and then get it cocked in and then it, it's just a pain. The it's not really Hasbro's fault. They're just following the design of the gun. But I've always hated the design of this gun, to be honest with you. The handle. I like the I like the scope. I like the the barrel and stuff, but I, I hate the handle part. Very difficult for action figures. Alright, so let's go ahead and bring that down. Um this head sculpt is not bad. It is pretty much the same exact head sculpt that we got out of the Tython version. A little bit of white here, which I really did not understand in the Tython version, and I don't understand it here. I'm not sure why he's got white. You could have scars here without having this. I mean, he looks like he just kind of got through Halloween and decided he wanted to be a ghost or something, honestly. Also, uh, that's a little questionable. Um, you know, his face is maybe a little shiny, but it's all right. Um, his head does move okay. I mean, it moves up and down, moves side to side. He can look up, can look sort of down, and it turns okay. But um, there is a ball joint in the neck, and 
in the head as well. So, not bad. Uh, we got some issues with the arms, though. The arms are pretty loose on mine. I don't know if that's a problem with any of yours, but they're pretty loose on mine. Um, I'm a little hesitant. That's about as far up as I can get this without feeling like I'm going to break it. So that's not great. That's not great articulation. And then it just, it doesn't feel fluid, honestly, y'all. That shoulder does not feel fluid. This shoulder is a little more stable, but again, it doesn't go up very high. It crashes into that armor. Um, big problems with this arm in particular and with these hoses. The, the arm, it, it's like the other Boba Fett. If you stretch this too far, you're going to have some problems with these hoses um, over time and there can be cracks and that sort of thing. And again, I don't think that the, the hand really matches up to the gauntlet too well. Um, when you bend it out, everything's just kind of all out of, all out of whack and stuff. Um, he holds his gun okay. Uh, once you get it in there, um, elbow, you know, that's about as far as you're going to get with the elbow. So not even 90 degrees. It's not, not wonderful. This elbow over here is somewhat better. Kind of see there. Decent paint on his little blaster on this arm. Um, I think the paint is a little plain. I realize that he got new armor and that sort of thing, but uh, it is a little plain. Um, he can move in his waist a little bit. He'll turn, but not a lot. Again, this, this is a separate piece. His armor, it's a softer plastic, and it kind of hinders a lot of things. Uh, the um, scarf here is also attached to this plastic. Now, I mentioned the backpack, the jet pack. What I've found you got to do here, let's see if I can do this on camera. I mean, I had a hard time. So you got to kind of get these parts, the top parts, cooked in there and then kind of slide in that main peg. Now, if you're just kind of fiddling with them and moving them around, you know, he stays on okay, but it's already coming off. You know, anytime I move them around a little, it's already coming off. So it's like the Death Watch Mando, it's not a great fit. It will pop off fairly easily. So just be aware of that when you're moving them around. Um, these two little parts here, these are actually separate pieces. Nice soft plastic, so no issues there. That moves around, gets out of the way. Uh, the bottom of this figure, I think, is pretty much from the belt down. The belt, I believe, is the belt is new. But from the legs and the lower torso, this is all reused from the Tython Boba Fett. The one problem I have with the thigh cut is if you move it around you break up where the sculpting is so if you're moving it here it doesn't look right the sculpting was made to have it kind of in one pose same thing with this one um, on that thigh and that's kind of a problem uh knees are okay this is exactly kind of the way it worked with the tython you can see there there's the knee but the pad is actually underneath i actually don't mind that because it gets out of the way so and then the the hinge rocker is not too bad in the ankles as well but yeah i mean 3149 not the greatest y'all um just not the greatest I'm, I'm a little disappointed in this figure i mentioned in my last video i will not be buying the uh walmart exclusive version and that's that's for sure now after messing with this guy um yeah so you can see how loose that arm is uh, it, he's very disappointing and um not super happy with them. Let's put them back together here real quick, just as a final look at them. And again, even the helmet rides up right there too. So, not my favorite, y'all. Give me a give me a comment. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know if you like them, you hate them, whatever. And um, thanks for watching. We'll talk to y'all soon. You have a good one. Sign out, y'all.